what is up guys candles reef got in a little video for you got algae barn hooked us up and sent us their 1580 pot uh 5280 pods i'm sorry ocean magic and of course in every order you get swedish fish and a sticker so just a little something i'm going to try out new here you see my last video i made a nice little acrylic tank that we uh tried to cultivate some of these copepods in you gotta see in here there are literally thousands and thousands and thousands sorry if the focus is not that great but there are tons of pods in here in this particular one there are three different strains <laughs> sorry it's my little one in the background yes dad <laughs> And they sent us some of their Ocean Magic Phytoplankton. There's some good stuff here. All you got to do, squeeze the bottle. This will fill up. Of course, I'm right into the jar. This is all I'm going to do. And I'm going to stick these guys out on a, on a window ledge somewhere. This way they get a little bit of su natural sunlight. And we're going to see if we can populate them that way. And the Phytoplankton, if you want to do your own, everybody gets crazy. You could use LED lights in a, in a jar. Just mix up some fresh salt water, put it in a jar, dump the bottle in there, get it nice and dark, even if it, you get it like a tea color, almost like this, which is perfect. Once it gets nice and dark, like the bottom half of this bottle, then you guys can split the culture in half, put it in another jar, keep it doing some top off. All I normally do is put it in, some, in a window with a lot of sunlight, like a south facing window, and they do just fine. Then you could also add an air stone into both cult, uh, cultures, whatever you want to do. And that'll work just fine as well. So, there you go again, guys. Here's another close-up. This thing is totally jam-packed with pods. And even seen a bunch of pregnant ones in there. As funny as that sounds. There's, You'll see pods with like a little fat tail, like a little black dot, and then... That would be the pods egg sack. What are you doing? All right. So hit that subscribe button. We've got a nice big surprise. We're going to be resurrecting the 72 gallon bow front aquarium, and uh, hopefully we'll be videoing most of the way there. I did get a start of some of the things. I want to give you a nice little preview. Say hi, Daddy. So far, all I did, took the poles down that hung the light, put them on the legs, painted the background. Before we just had one of the stock, like, right off the shelf backgrounds and stick to the back. Trying something a little new here with our sump. I painted the entire inside of the cabinet white. This way it's going to reflect the water back into the stand. As you can see, I still got some cleaning to do. We did just recently move not that long ago. So that's why the bow front is now down. So, And I want to see what you guys think. Got this new pump right here. I'm going to be powering this tank with. And I'm thinking about making a manifold to help create a flow for the reactors instead of running all kinds of different pumps and making a mess out of the electric bill. So if you guys have any... Uh, inputs or any ideas would love to hear them as you can see i'm going to keep my return the way it sits filter sock nothing crazy and as we speak i got the rock cycling in the basement i will do a uh, little video on that all i did nice little vinegar bath that's why i see one of the gallons of distilled vinegar right here let them air dry for a couple days after i let them sit in the vinegar bath for 24 hours now they're downstairs for the last four weeks and fresh salt water. Now my phosphates are almost down to nothing. Want to do another change? Got some GFO and carbon running in there. Everything should be awesome. All right. So that's the tank. That's what's been going on. Sorry, haven't been that many videos. A lot's been going on. New baby, as you can hear, and new house. So and a lot of stuff. And recently got married. So all right. Until next time, guys.